I'm Gretchen Rubin and this is The Happiness Project. And before I start, I want to say you're going to hear a lot of construction outside the window because that's life in New York City. The pigeon of discontent for this week is, it feels as if my friends are more social than I am and living more glamorously. However, I am pretty content with my own life and do not want much more than I have, but I continually feel strong feelings of jealousy towards my friends. Now, it's, it's terrific that you are cultivating feelings of gratitude and thankfulness for what you have, because that's a really important quality for a happy life, is to have that sense of gratitude for what we have. But envy is actually a very helpful emotion. It's a very unpleasant emotion, of course, but it's very useful, because envy, like other negative emotions, are big flashing warning signs that something in our life isn't quite the way we want it to be. Feelings like guilt, anger, resentment, envy, show us that in some way our life doesn't reflect our values, doesn't reflect our temperament, doesn't reflect our interests, and so it's very helpful. So instead of trying to avoid feeling envious, it can be very helpful to really shine a spotlight on envy and really push yourself to ask, what is it exactly that I envy? Why is it this person that I am envious of instead of that person? What is it about them that's attracting my attention? What is it that's stirring up these negative feelings in me? Now, it's a very um, unpleasant exercise, but it is a very, very helpful one. When I was starting out as a writer, one of the things that showed me that I wanted to, wanted to be a writer was that when I heard about anybody else's job, I never felt envious except for people who had writing jobs. And then I felt sort of sick with envy. So the resolution for this pigeon of discontent is shine a spotlight on envy.